Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Friday the 13th the game. Now I'm going to be doing something completely different. This is going to be a new series of videos to hopefully uh, increase my uh, subscribers and views on this channel. Um, so hopefully this will work. Uh, anyway, uh, today's Friday the 13th video will be already tips and tricks of how to be a good counselor. So I hope you enjoy. And before we do anything, we are gonna go over the counselor stats. That way you can be prepared for any situation and you can choose the right counselor. So I will get back to you once I get into the counselor selection. Alrighty, we are here in the counselor section. As you can see, we have uh, AJ Mason here. Uh, we have our perks up here. We aren't going to be really talking about those because those are just your personal selection. But we are going to be talking about the stats here and which counselor to choose from. So let's go through all of them. Just very brief because I want to get into the match. Uh, so, AJ Mason. Uh, she has 7 out of 10 composure. Her luck is very low at 1 out of 10. Repair pretty good at 7 out of 10. Speed 4 out of 10. Stamina, 4 out of 10. Stealth, really good, 10 out of 10. And Strength, 2 out of 10. So, uh, furthermore, let's go over to what these mean. So, Composure reduces the rate that fear increases and makes it easier to break fee free from Jason's grasp. Luck increases weapon durability and gives minor increases to many other stats. Repair increases repair effectiveness. Speed increases overall top speed. Stamina increases overall stamina pool and reduces the stamina cost of actions. Stealth reduce the, reduces the amount of noise generated and Jason's ability to sense. And finally, strength increases attack damage with weapons and reduces the stamina cost of combat actions. So I'm just going to be going through just telling you what, uh, what the stats for each counselor is. So there's AJ. Next we have Chad. Composure, 1. Luck, 10. Repair, 2. Speed, 9. Stamina, 4. Stealth, 6. And Strength, 3. Jenny. Composure, 10. Luck, 8. Repair, 2. Speed, 3. Stamina, 5. Stealth, 6. Strength, 1. Kenny. Composure, 5. Okay, well, basically, all of his stats are five. Uh, Timf Tiffany, <laughs> sorry. Uh, composure, three. Luck, four. Repair, one. Speed, six. Stamina, nine. Stealth, ten. Strength, two. Deborah, composure, five. Luck, three. Repair, ten. Speed, four. Stamina, Three, stealth nine, and strength one. Vanessa, composure three, luck six, repair two, speed ten, stamina nine, stealth one, strength four. Sheldon, composure six, luck one, repair five, speed four, stamina four, stealth. 8, Strength, 7, Fox, Composure, 6, Luck, 3, Repair, 6, Speed, 4, Stamina, 5, Stealth, 4, and Strength, 7. Mitch, Composure, 9, Luck, 2, Repair, 8, Speed, 3, Stamina, 4, Stealth, 6, and strength three. Adam, I think this, I think this is the last one. Adam, composure seven. Luck two. Repair six. Speed five. Stamina four. Stealth three. And strength eight. Okay, there. I think there's a few more, actually. Eric, composure four. Luck five. Repair ten. Speed three. Stamina, 2. Stealth, 8. Strength, 
three. And he goes usually by his last name, which is La Chapa. Uh, Brandon, also known as Bugsy. Composure, four. Luck, two. Repair, one. Speed, eight. Stamina, eight. Stealth, two. And strength, ten. And that concludes the counselor stats. And basically, it's just y'all's decision. If you prefer, like, really high speed, and I will go for, like, the athletic people, which is, like, Chad, Vanessa, and Chad. I mean, sorry, Chad, Vanessa, and Bugsy. I <laughs> said Chad twice. Um, and if you're looking for repair people, go with AJ, La Chapa, and Deborah. And then the others, I haven't really played as much, so just choose what you want. It just... Just be what you want, basically. And I'm going to be playing AJ for this one because I love her composure. Repair is good and self is good, which is basically what I need, basically. So that is basically it. So let's just go, go over the basic info before we start. Alrighty, we have found the match finally, and it's gonna be on Higgins Haven. Next it is part three, Jason. Which means it's not me. I gotta find the Alrighty. others. So First off, when you uh, first spawn in, you want to move quickly to the nearest cabin, which is this one. Obviously, if you're near one of the main houses, get away from it. And always lock the doors. It's very essential because it takes longer for Jason to destroy them if the door is locked. However, please take note that if Jason is either part four or part eight, they can break down the doors a lot quicker than the other Jasons. Uh, part four and part eight uh, has only three hits to destroy a door. Well, uh, uh, the other Jasons take five to seven hits, so please take note of that. And also, if you want a first aid to heal yourself when injured, there should always be one in the bathroom. Always in the bathroom in the cabin. There should. If not, then I don't know why it's not. Alrighty, one more thing to note here. There are, uh, you need to escape the uh, campsite or the map or whatever. That's the name of, that's the aim of the game here. So, if you, if you go here, you have some objectives here. So, number one. You can call the police. It takes them five minutes to arrive. However, if you have the My Dad's a Cop perk, they arrive in three minutes and 30 seconds. And to do that, you have to repair the phone box, use, use the phone to contact the police, and then the police are on the scene, and then you reach and escape with them. Um, number two, you can leave in the boat. Um... It can be on any map, but it's most commonly found on Camp Crystal Lake or Pinehurst. And sometimes it can save them as well. Uh, number three, you can leave in the car. Either the four-seater or the two-seater. And in this map, uh, we have the four-seater. So basically, you want to install the battery, fill the gas tank, start the car, and use the car to escape. And you have to find the keys too to start it. And also, the motorboat. I forgot to talk about that. I'm sorry. Uh, you need to install the propeller. Fill the gas tank, start the boat, and use the boat to escape. And another, uh, it's really not an escape tool, but you can call Tommy Jarvis for help, and it's not an escape option. Please take note of that. He's just there to help and save the other counselors. That's all he, is, he wants to do. So, that is all. Oh! Oh, goodness. Jason's right there. Alright, so when Jason is either near you or chasing you as this, your best bet is to go out and fight, which I'm not going to do, or you can do like I'm doing, and 
I didn't wait to escape in a window or out the door. And as you saw earlier, I locked the door. So he's in the grill. Oh, and as you can see here, a bug is someone. Tommy Jarvis. And if you look here, it's checked. So, okay, you just broke down the door. Okay, bye now. And this is where you escape. Oh, good. Good lord. Oh, God. Why are you after me? Wait, is he after me? I don't know. And also, if you tap repeatedly X uh, when you're running and going towards a window, you do just that. You break the window, but you get in faster. So that's always a plus. Because you're trying to escape from Jason. And another, and another thing, which I will get to later. Oh! Actually, maybe I can do it right now. Okay. See? This person locked the door, which is a really good thing. When you're up against Jason, I would go into combat stance, which you do here. And do this! Oh wait, he- uh oh. Maybe I can't show you right now! Alright, any- oh. Locking this door. All right, another thing. Oh wait, hold on. All right, one more thing. When you're up against Jason, I will go into combat stance. Which can be summoned by using the right thumbstick, which I'm doing. You do this! Uh oh. Shoot! I didn't mean that! I didn't mean to do that! Oh, okay. As you can see, I just died. So what I was trying to say earlier was that um, when you're up against Jason, I would go into combat stance, which can be summoned by using the right thumbstick on PS4 and Xbox One, or using the corresponding controls on PC. And to hit and stun Jason, you just press the R2 button on PS4 and the RT button on Xbox One and the corresponding controls on PC. And a quick note, if Jason is breaking down a door, you can actually hit and stun him through the door. All you need to do is go into combat stance and hit him. And it's uh, also better to use either a bat or an axe to do so. And yeah, that pretty is everything for my tips and tricks video. Um, I'm sorry that I died. <laughs> I tried doing the uh, hitting, um, heading through the door, but that really didn't work out as I planned. So, I hope you enjoyed the Sips and Tricks video. And if you want to see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Under subs, you know the drill, I'm not even going to say it. So, anyway, guys, that pretty much wraps things up for this, uh, my first Sips and Tricks video on the counselor. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.